generally government bonds are considered as risk free financial instruments but on other hand the corporate bonds are uh, not considered as free from the risk of default although the corporate bonds carry a fixed income stream throughout their lives but the payment of coupons on these corporate bonds may not be guaranteed as these payments are subject to the financial health of the issuers in the days to come by bond default risk means a credit risk because bonds are in fact a credit extended by the bond holder to the issuer by bond rating uh, bond rating we means the rating that reflects the assessment of the safety of the bond issue to have a bond rated there are certain rating companies that provide financial information on firm as well as the quality rating of long term corporate and municipal bonds issues rating categories there are certain categories that are assigned to certain bonds according to their financial characteristics and these are uh, ranging from highest rating that is uh, for example triple a and for investment grade bonds these are rated at above triple b for speculative are junk bonds these are rated at below triple b or b b b determinants of bond safety how the amount collected through bond can be safely repaid to the bond holders certain uh, parameters are there first is the coverage ratios these are the ratios of companies earning to the fixed cost borne by the company in the form of interest payments leverage ratios these ratios measure the level of firms in debtness liquidity ratios these measure the firms ability to pay its bills coming due with its most liquid assets profitability ratios these ratios measure the rate of return on the assets or equity earned by the firm cash flow to debt ratio uh, these are the ratios of cash flow to the outstanding debt of the company at any point in time ratios and default risk prediction there is a model that is known as z score that is used to uh, predict the likelihood of a situation where a firm can go into insolvency that z score has been developed by edward altman and it is also known as altman's z score this z score uses discriminant analysis to predict firms bankruptcy these z score analysis determines an equation of the line that best separates the observations of firms into the firms that that are solvent and that might be going into insolvency during the period in the days to come a firm is assigned a score based on its financial characteristics the firm with score above the cutoff rate is termed is, is considered as a safer firm whereas a low score uh, lower than a score lower than the cutoff rate indicates significant default risk in the near future the altman's equation to separate failing and non failing firm uh, is a regression equation that carries certain variables and there are five variables in this equation these variables basically are the five different ratios these ratios account for a uh, liquidity these ratios account for turnover these ratios account for profitability uh, these ratios account for solvency of the firm and there are certain coefficients allotted to each variable and these coefficients are basically the weight of that particular variable in the whole equation the interpretation of z score is that 
a score below 1 below 1.23 shows that the firm is vulnerable to insolvency in the coming period if the score is below uh, is the score is between 1.23 to 2.90 so between these two boundaries the firm is considered as the uh, gray area firm and if the score is above 2.9 the firm is considered as a safer firm now how the measures are available with a company as a, a protection against the risk of default the first measure is the establishment of a sinking fund through the establishment of a sinking fund the bond can be called or repaid very easily in the time of maturity uh, the subordination of future debt that restricts the firm from additional borrowing dividend restrictions can be uh, levied on the issuer uh, which force to the firm to retain assets rather than paying them out to the shareholders collateral uh, a particular asset that bond holders receive if the firm defaults here uh, it is point to be noted that while issuing a bond the debt may be secured or it may be unsecured for default risk and yields we can say that the corporate bonds are subject to default risk due to certain factors that have significant that may have significant influence on the financial health of the firm uh, in the days to come till the maturity of the bonds uh, realization of promised yield is subject to the firms if the firm is meeting obligation on the bonds issue so this is uh, this depends that how a firm is meeting its liabilities expected yield to maturity must consider the possibility of a riskiness of the default more if there are more chances on default on a bond then uh, the price of the bond will fall the promised yield of yield to maturity on the bond will also fall and the expected yield to maturity which is tied to the bond systematic risk will be far less affected now finally in the last what are the credit default swaps or the cds in fact a cds or the credit default swap is an insurance policy on default risk of a bond issued by any corporate firm in cds the buyer pays annual premium against the bond's default risk the issuer agrees to buy the bonds in the case of default or pay the difference between the a uh, par value and the market value to the cds holder the risk structure of interest rate and cds prices must be tightly aligned institutional bond holders uses cds and these are the uh, primary market of the cds these institutional bonds who use C cds to enhance credit worthiness of their loan portfolios to manufacture a uh, triple a or high rated debt